the IndyCar Series welcomes you to New Orleans Motorsports Park from Louisiana, New Orleans. We got seven of the greatest IndyCar Series drivers going head to head, side by side, twist and turns for 10 laps. It is a beautiful day to go racing. Got an amazing crowd on hand. It's going to be a good one, folks. This is IndyCar's first trip to New Orleans. Here we got Tony Kanan starting on a pole alongside with his KV racing teammate, Takuma Sato. And then here we got the Homestead Miami Speedway winner, Ryan hunter -Ray. He will be starting in fourth place. And Scott Dixon, he will be starting in last place after he had a mishap during qualifying. Thankfully, he did not junk his car, but let's take a look at what happened yesterday. This is during qualifying, got Sarah Fisher, Danica Patrick flying by. And this is the first corner, the hardest part. It looks like Dixon got loose. He had to do a stop and go. So thankfully, he did not wreck his car, but he will have to start the back after that mishap. But we have a good feeling that Scott Dixon might be a factor in this race. So what these drivers have learned is turn one is the hardest part. Well, let's see how it goes in the race, but first, let's get to the command to start engines here at the New Orleans Motorsports Park. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. What a beautiful sight to hear at this gorgeous weather here at New Orleans Motorsports Park as seven of the greatest IndyCar drivers will roll out of pit road to warm their tires to get ready for today's race. But first, let's get to your starting lineup. On the first row, we got Tony Kanan and Takuma Sato, KV Racing teammates. On the second row, we got Sarah Fisher and the Homestead winner from earlier this year, Ryan hunter -Ray. On third row, we got J.R. Hildebrand and Danica Patrick. And on the final row, we got Scott Dixon. That is it for your starting grid. Before we go racing, let's look at the race facts to kick off today's race. This is a 10 lap race with seven cars. Tony Kanan is a pole sitter. Nobody will start at the back. This is an eight turn, 1.8 mile track. The start finish line is a drag strip. So basically it gets you that Sonoma feeling vibe. And this is the first IndyCar race at New Orleans. This track was renovated to a bigger track after the Xfinity race back in 2016. And before we go racing, let's take a lap around here at New Orleans Motorsports Park. This is the hardest part of the track. When you go full speed, then you got to brake and downshift all the way to the first corner. Then you go to the S's to the bus stop. Then you go to the back straight away. Then you got to get to those S's, all they, although they're looking messed up. And then you go to the final corner, entering the drag strip, full speed into the start finish line. That's a lap around here at New Orleans. Mmm, Reese's. Mmm, caramel. You got your caramel on my Reese's. Reese's great taste and taste great together. With caramel, Reese's peanut butter cups. Seven drivers, eight turns, ten laps, one winner. Who will it be? Time to let them loose, and we're on the way here at New Orleans. Green flag! Sarah Fisher goes to the inside! Down to the first corner, Sarah Fisher will take the lead away from Tony Kanan! Everybody else is double wide, entering the entrance! Here they go to the yeses for the first time! Down to the final corner, to the drag strip, to the start finish line! Sarah Fisher's gonna lead the first lap, but here comes Ryan Hunteray! Taking the lead away from Sarah Fisher as he goes to the bus stop once again! Sarah Fisher had an amazing start! Ryan hunter -Ray had an amazing pass to lead on the first line. Here they go down to the final corner once again to the start-finish line. hunter is going to lead the second lap. Here comes Sarah Fisher using the push to pass. And they go off. Sarah Fisher goes off. Ryan hunter -Ray goes off. Sarah Fisher has to do a stop-and-go penalty as Ryan hunter -Ray is also off as they go back on the way. Now we're on board with the new leader, Tony Kanan, the pole sitter, coming down to the final corner once again. And here's a little flyby at the start finish line as Tony Kanan's gonna lead the third lap as we're on board with number 82 now. But how about Scott Dixon? He started dead last in seventh place and now he's in second. Does he have anything for Tony Kanan? As they go to the final corner once again, Scott Dixon uses his push to pass side by side. Dixon's gonna lead that lap and he clears him by the time they get to the bus stop. 
the Iceman, one of IndyCar's greats, is now leading. From last to first, Hildebrand makes a move on Tony Kanaan to the S's, and they touched! Crash! Tony Kanaan goes around into the wall. Caution's gonna come out. Full course yellow. The pole sitter of today's race is done for the day. What a heartbreak for the number 82 KV Racing car. And what a heartbreak for Jared Hildebrand as well. Second race in a row, he is caught up in a crash. He's got heavy front wing damage. He's going to go backwards to go to pit road. Because what a heartbreak for the number four. While we're under full course yellow, let's take a look at the replay of what happened. It looks like Kanan was getting ready to go to the S's. Or maybe Jared Holderbrand checked up. I'm not really sure, but... Wow. It's unfortunate that both of them got collected. There's Tony going along for a ride, then Gerard Hildebrand stalled here. We're getting word that the number four does have some suspension damage as well. So they're on pit road, but I'm not sure if they're going to call it quits. And there's Tony. Not a hard hit, but he is out of the race. Very unfortunate for number 82, who's having such a good race. We're going to zoom in to how it happened. Looks like Tony was getting ready to enter the SS. And it looks like Hildebrand checked up and then tried to avoid the 82, but unfortunately it was too late. How about Takuma Sato give him credit for avoiding the crash? Same with Daniel Patrick. Just wow. The 82 is done. Hildebrand's done. And we will show you what happened between Sarah Fisher and Ryan Hunter Ray. Let's go to that. So Sarah Fisher was using her push to pass. They were going to the first corner, but then they both touched. They both went off. Then Sarah Fisher had to serve her penalty. Here's a slower motion version. She got a push to pass. Then she got loose and Ryan Hunter touched her a bit. Hunter Ray got loose as well into the grass. And there's Tony Kanan taking the lead away from both of them. Thankfully, they're fourth and fifth coming into the restart. While Jared Hildebrand and Tony Kanan are going to get ready to go behind a wall. We're going to go to commercial. Just stick around, folks. There's going to be a two-lap shootout. Whoop right back. Okay, flight controllers, give me a go, no go for launch. Control. We're go flight. Booster. Go. Guidance. Go flight. Propulsion. We are go. Launch control. We are go for launch. And welcome back to the New Orleans Grand Prix, folks. The pace car is about to turn left. Scott Dixon, Takuma Sato, Danica Patrick, Sarah Fisher, Ryan Hunter Ray will finish off this race in two to go. Takuma Sato with an amazing restart. We're back underway. Here comes Danica. But Takuma Sato will get the lead off of the first corner, entering the bus stop. Entering the back stretch now. Sato leads as they go to the Essex. Can he hold on for one more lap as they go down to the final corner? Entering the drag strip. Crossing the start finish line. Here comes Danica with a push for pass. White flag. One lap to go here at New Orleans. Can Danica hold on for just one more lap? I don't know. Here comes Takuma Sato using his push to pass to the lead. Entering the S as they go. Oh, they both get hooked. Takuma goes around. Danica gets collected. Scott Dixon is the leader now. The caution's going to come out. Scott Dixon will be your 2020 New Orleans Grand Prix of Louisiana winner. The caution and the checkered flag is out. Scott Dixon will win this race. Sarah Fisher will come home second, and Ryan Hunter-Ray will come home third. What an interesting last lap. Very unfortunate for Danica Patrick. She had a great race. It was a contender at the end. And same thing with Takuma Sato. Started second, then he dropped back, and then he came back to the front, and now he's going to be behind a wrecker once again. It looks like Danica was trying to let Sato go because... These IndyCar drivers know that they can't go too wide at these S's with these cars. It looks like Danica hooked her left front tire into Takuma Sato's right rear tire. They both crash, and it's just very unfortunate and heartbreaking for both Takuma Sato and Danica Patrick. And there's Scott Dixon taking the lead, and then the car was out. Now we're on board with Sarah Fisher, who finishes second. Congratulations. To Sarah Fisher on being the first female race in history, finished second at a road course. And on board with Ryan Hunter Wright, who finishes third. Now, as we get things settled, we'll be right back. Growing up in a family with my dad, winning the Indy 500, he takes some heat. 
There's really no sport like it. We're inches apart, wheel to wheel, and one touch, you're gone. I did 19 last year, it's kind of a crazy feeling. You got all these friends at college taking history exams, yet I'm sitting there going 230 miles an hour. It's a crazy lifestyle. That's how it goes. It's gotta be a new Welcome back to New Orleans, folks. Here is the podium celebration from Scott Dixon, Sarah Fisher, and Ryan Hunter Ray. And while there's celebration going on, let's take a look at the finishing results. How about Scott Dixon? From last to first, congratulations to Scott Dixon on winning at New Orleans. Great race for him. Sarah Fisher comes home second place. Third place and last to be on podium, Ryan Hunter Ray. Takuma Sato. Finishes fourth after being crashed to Danica Patrick on the last lap. He had a great race, but wasn't meant to be. And how about Danica Patrick? From leading the last lap to finishing fifth after being a crash to Komasato, she finishes with fifth. J.R. Hildebrand once again being in the crash, finishing sixth. And Tony Kanan finishes seventh. So that's going to do it for today's race. I want to say thank you all so much for tuning in to this race. Comment, like, and subscribe for more stop motions and for more other content. Congratulations to Scott Dixon on winning the 2020 New Orleans Grand Prix. Thank you all so much for supporting E Nation. Now, see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube channel notifications for more videos. Thank you all for supporting E Nation. Hope you guys enjoyed this race. Now, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.